It all began 100 years ago. In 1911, A.C. Gilbert, a trained doctor and multi-talented inventor, dreamt up a toy while taking the train to New York. He called it the Erector Set. It was the era of the skyscraper. For the first time, there were electric elevators, and you could build buildings taller than six floors. And it's that that inspires uh, Gilbert's vision of the future. In the years leading up to World War I, kids across America responded. Erector sets were what every boy wanted at Christmas, making Gilbert the country's biggest toy manufacturer. But Gilbert saw the Erector set as more than just a toy. It was a tool to learn how buildings and machines are built. What Gilbert did was inspire parents to make significant gifts that turned around and inspired kids to make significant contributions. One of these kids was William Sewell. As a Yale medical student, he realized that surgeons needed a way to keep blood pumping when the heart was out of commission. Using erector set pieces, he created the first artificial heart pump. Erectors were a toy from his youth. This is a replica of the Sewell heart pump. The moving levers stimulate the pump action of the heart. For the first time, there was a pump that more exactly replicated our own heart. That was because Sewell made it pneumatic. Pressurized air moves the blood in a pulse action rather than continuous. The pump that Sewell developed uh, in mod modified form um, is the pump that we now use for many artificial heart type devices. Like the Berlin heart that little Abigail has. <laughs> Did you just call me a kiss? It's a bridge device while she waits for a transplant. It operates like the heart lung machine, but is more portable. The pump system is housed in this rolling unit. Berlin Heart is a, a cyclical pump, um, a pneumatically displaced pump, so it is very similar to Sewell's original design. So here's a child's toy, modified, and now serving to save the lives of children. But the impact of the erector set doesn't stop there. Other notable minds have been influenced by the one-time popular Christmas gift. Like chemist Otto Wichterly, who invented the soft contact lens using an erector set. And Stephen Chu and Martin Pearl, physics Nobel laureates who cited the erector set as a key toy that triggered their young minds. Today, educators are continuing to exercise and hopefully inspire the minds of our youth with a challenge. They must use an erector set to perform a simple holiday task. Lighting a Christmas tree. Here's how it works. A pole vaulting AC Gilbert sets off a spring motor that sinks a ship and turns on a fan, which lifts a crane dropping marbles, which set off a gantry crane while dropping parachutists to set off a chemistry experiment that sends an airplane colliding into a car that runs into a train spinning the Ferris wheel in motion which lights the tree. Happy holidays. The value in an erector set is that they were real toys, not symbolic toys. These are real nuts and bolts. And that's how Christmas invented the artificial heart.